It's a great honor to present this award to a friend, a great mind, and a unique talent, Steve McQueen. Thank you, Tricky. I also want to say, before I start, I want to say really quick that it's a great honor for me tonight to be here, not only because I stand in front of a legend, but also because I stand next to a legend, which is you, Tricky. <laughs> I must say really quick that you have inspired me as a young musician. You have paved my way, so to say, and I want to thank you for that. Thank you. Everything is everything. <laughs> Well, so uh, both Tricky and I are coming from a musical background. We might look at Steve McQueen's masterful film anthology, Small X, a little bit differently. A highlight for me is the following scene. Right in the middle of the second film, Lovers Rock, there's a scene with all party people dancing and singing to silly games from Janet Kay, and they do that a cappella. And the scene goes on and on and on, maybe for five minutes. And the thing is, you just don't want the scene to end. You see the love and the lust for life and the togetherness, but also the pain and anger, the dignity by all these people who only get to taste their freedom at the weekend at a house party, void of white folks, of course. <laughs> it's captured beautifully and brilliantly, and these sublime moments, that are the moment, these are the moments that really touched me. And of course, Small X is so much more than a great selected soundtrack of rebel music. Small X, co-written by Courtney Newland and Alistair Siddons and other collaborators, consists of five loosely connected films, yet together they map the experience of being Afro-Caribbean in the UK at the time. There's Mangrove, Lovers Rock, Red, White and Blue, Alex Wheatle and Education. This is a cinematic contribution not only to a people's history, but an ongoing reality a reality that is not only existing in the UK, but in many countries of Europe, where racism is part of daily life for many Afropeans. Steve McQueen and his team bring to life a collection of suppressed memories, historical moments and individual stories hitherto untold. Never pamphleteering, it goes over events by swaying different life choreographies under the constant presence of systematic racism. What struck me was my own personal response to these films. They are set in the past, not too long ago, but they're very much about the present, and sadly, they are also about the near future. The films set in London, yet I saw my own German childhood experiences in them. It brings back my black South African father's fight against apartheid, and fact is that structural racism Unconscious or conscious bias continue to exist in the here and now in so many European countries and, of course, in the wider world. Small X forces us to see this. Thankfully, this work of art, and art in its true meaning, is also full of hope, energy, and humor. I am sure that watching Small X has an impact on each and every viewer. Stories will come to the surface that have not been told to date on screen. The men and women, and did I mention the unbelievably strong women in the films that are rarely shown or the center of stories. It is about that time. Ladies and gentlemen, dear Steve, Small X is nothing short of a masterpiece. Thank you for making us look and see. Let's watch one more time. Mm -hmm. 